John has 10 pairs of matched socks. If he loses seven individual socks, what is the greatest number of pairs of matched socks he can have left? Well, first of all, I've denoted all the socks by capital letters. So J, J, K, K, these are the pairs of socks. And keep this trick in mind. You can use letters to represent more abstract things on the GMAT, a very handy way. So if we want the greatest number of matched pairs left, that means he has to lose the socks in pairs. So for example, if he loses these two socks, then these two socks, then these two socks, he's already, he's lost six socks, but he still has seven pairs intact. Well, when he loses the seventh sock, that takes out one more pair. So he still has six pairs left, and that is answer choice B.